Hey guys, okay, so um, today I'm going to be doing my foundation routine video. I'm super excited about it, and um, I'm going to be wearing this, so I'm kind of look kind of funny, okay? So don't laugh at me. <laughs> so I'm going to put it on. I don't really want to edit this video very much, so I'm going to try to move a little faster than usual. I don't very do, I don't really do that much for my um, foundation routine. The first thing I use is my Vital C Hydrating Anti-Aging Serum. There. And then I just take two pumps of that, put it on my cheeks, chin, nose, and forehead, and then whatever I have left, I will just put it on spots that aren't, um, don't have that much on it. And then I will just rub it in. I have a mirror over here and let me fix it. <laughs> okay. And then my forehead. Okay, and then after that, what I take is my um, That Gal Brightening Face Primer. Looks like that by Benefit. I'm trying to get the cap off. And then I just kind of judge at how much I'll use. Okay. And then I just do the same thing. I dab it on my cheeks, chin, nose, and forehead. And then whatever I have left, I will put on spots that I have not already put a lot on. Um, I really like this brightening face primer. It makes your foundation last longer. Obviously, it's supposed to make your face brighter and, I guess, kind of illuminating like. And so I really like it. It smells really good. The other one that I had, um, something in it, it was a mattifying face primer, something in it would make my face really dry. And so I had like a reaction to it. So, I like this one. I haven't had a reaction to it yet, so. Okay. So... That's what I do. Okay, then the next thing, while I'm waiting for that to kind of dry, I use my La Bella Donna Mineral Eraser in number two. It's a under eye concealer. As you can see, I have hit pan big time on it, and I use it under my eyes to conceal. You want your um, you want to use your finger because it'll make it creamier. And um, you want it to be creamy for under eyes, dark circles, whatever. And you also want it to be a shade lighter than your skin tone. So that way it will really cover up those dark circles. And you want to pat it on so you don't get premature wrinkles when you're older from tugging at your eyes. So I use that. Just kind of pat that in better. Then I'm going to be using my Coastal Sense Camo Quad. Looks like that. I'm going to be using the shade, the lighter shade, because I am not very dark. <laughs> and then I'm using my Sigma SS 194 Concealer Brush, and I'm just going to pat that on to any redness honestly don't have that much redness to be quite honest um, so I can get away with skipping this step but uh, I do it for the purpose of the video for sure I should show you what I do when I have lots of redness just kind of blend it in pat it on any redness that you may have and then run your nose you don't have to blend it in very well just because when you put your foundation on, it will blend it in even more, but you want to semi-blend it in. And then a little bit over here as well. Just to cover up any redness. Okay. 
Okay, so my primer and all that has dried so it's not so wet when I go to put on my Laura Mercier 10 moisturizer. Just gonna put it on my hand just so it's easier to reach. Let me use about that much, not that much at all. And I'm gonna be using my Sigma SS187 stippling brush because it's my favorite brush ever and it works perfect for this. I'm just gonna kind of stipple it on my hand and then stipple it on my face all over. And then do kind of circle mushrooms. The fun thing about this is it dries really fast, so you're going to need to blend it in pretty fast before it completely dries because then it's not very blendable. So I'm going to really blend it in up here at my hairline. That's why I use this thing, so that way I can really blend it into my hairline so I don't have any foundation lines whatsoever. So as you can see, after I stipple it on, I just kind of use circular motions to, and then I guess straight across motions too. And then I'm going to bring it down my neck, all the way down. Just so I don't have any lines whatsoever and especially if you have like a, sh a shade darker than your skin tone, if your foundation doesn't match right, it'd be best to bring it down all the way. Just so make sure it's nice and blended. Okay, and then for the last thing that I do is I take my Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in Light and Medium and I'm going to be using my Sigma SS150 brush, my powder brush, and I'm just going to dust it onto the spots that would normally get oily throughout the day. Just so I don't, because I mean I really don't get that oily, it's just my um, tint and moisturizer makes it look more oily than I'd like. So I just want to make sure that it doesn't look too shiny. And then I'm going to dust it on my chin. So basically I just dust this all over my T-zone basically. So that is what I do. Okay, so as you can see, I obviously don't use that much for my face, um, but it works for me, and um, I really like it. I will do an updated foundation routine when I change it up, because I change it up pretty often. So be expecting that, and thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day. Bye.